Hey guys, how's it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out Chula Divine's channel, what is up? I am Amy. If you're returning, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, please hit the like button. Please hit the subscription button. So this has been a long time coming. I think the last time I did a Divine Masculine voicemail was before I moved, um, which is what? Well, I've only been in my unit for a month, but I stopped reading a month and a half before I even moved because things were just getting chaotic. Um, so it's been a long time since I've actually channeled um, Divine Masculine's voicemail. So I've got a treat for you guys tonight. So I hope you guys like this. I'm just going to get started. I didn't think I would be at this point that I would be ready to make this call. It's been a long time since we talked. It's been a long time since we had a conversation. But just hearing your voicemail right now, just hearing your voice kind of takes me back to that moment and as I'm lying here in my room it just does something to my heart it, it, I can't even explain what the sound of your voice does to me it's it's like I hear your voice and my heart just beats I hear your voice and I'm just I'm taken back it's you amaze me all of these all of this time apart and yet just the sound of your voice makes me smile and it's been a long time since I could smile it's been a long time since I have felt that feeling I have been so in my head, so in my feelings. I look out my window at night and I'm wondering, do we ever look at the moon at the same time? Do you ever say goodnight out the window? Because I know there's been a few times that I've stared out my window and I've wished you goodnight. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what's up ahead. But I do know that I was dealing with a lot back then. And I wasn't sure how to handle it. I wasn't sure how to deal with it. But I know I'm a better person because of this time that I've had to to reflect I've been holding so much in so much in my whole life has been based off of always making everyone else happy and always doing for other people that I I never was doing for myself I never was doing what I needed to do for me and that's been the hardest thing is I never wanted to hurt you. I never wanted to make you feel like you weren't worth my love. I never wanted you to doubt love in general. But I've always been the type of person that I hated to ask for help. I hated to lean on anyone. So I held everything I was feeling in because I felt like I didn't want to burden people with what was going on. And that minute, that choice to walk away, 
it took me a very long time to think about that. It took me a very long time to think about how could I separate? How could I disconnect? How could I go to the one person that cared about me? You know, I see that now, but back then I couldn't see that. Back then I, I, I couldn't see that you never wanted to hurt me. All you ever wanted to do was love me, but I couldn't see that. I was so in my head, I was so dealing with everything else. I, I was a huge mess back then. But I had to get myself out of situations that were no good. And I've sat here with these thoughts thinking about how do I come and talk to you? How do I just open up? How do I tell you that I never wanted to be away from you? I just didn't know how to hold you tighter. I, I didn't know how to pull you in. I didn't know how to let you in. I was going with the crowd of, you know, I was, I was following the advice of other people. I was listening to everyone else and everyone else's needs and wants for me, except for my own wants and needs. Until I realized like the one person I'm running away from is myself. Because if I'm not living my best life, if I'm not living my authentic life, then whose life am I living? So I had to make a conscious choice to start manifesting the life that I wanted. I had to look within, I had to, I had to start healing, I had to start working towards what it is that I needed to work towards. And I know this connection with you is protected. And I know this connection is divine timing. And I know this connection is is like any of those other connections that I've ever had. And I know there's a rainbow at the end of this. I just know it. But I had choices to make then. I had to make some decisions. I had to make some hard, tough things. And I know you don't understand that. And I know that leaving this voicemail might just shake you up, might just question everything you ever thought about love. But back then, I was at a crossroad. Back then I had to make a decision. Was I gonna choose you or was I gonna choose myself? And choosing myself may seem selfish to others, but I had to do what I had to do to protect me. I had to do the only thing that I knew at the time was right. And that was as much as I had these strong feelings for you, I knew I couldn't give you what you needed then. So I knew I had to walk away and heal the parts of me that were scared. I knew I had to walk away and find me again. But my eyes are so wide open. And my cup is empty, which means that I'm about to fill it up with the amazing things that I've been getting. <laughs> My cup represents my love for you and it's about to overflow. I feel like for the first time in my life I can see the bigger picture. For the first time in my life I know where I'm going. The first time in my life I know that I want to fight for this, that I want to fight for this love, I want to fight for this connection. I may have been at a crossroad then, but I'm not at a crossroad now. I want my rainbow. I want my happy ever after. I want my love. I want you. I had to make those tough choices, and I know that you may not understand that, but I'm not asking you to understand it anymore. I'm just asking you to forgive. I'm asking you to find it in your heart to forgive. Find it in your heart to see that I never meant to hurt you. That leaving you wasn't because I didn't care about you. It wasn't because I didn't love you. It wasn't because I didn't want to be with you. Because I wasn't myself. I just wasn't ready and I just I hope that hearing my voice I hope I, that hearing this message makes you realize that it's been a long time coming and I get it you know but I want to come back and I want to make this right and I I want this with you and I just hope you still want it to. I love you.